Welcome back everybody to the glorious adventure of Dwarf Fortress and I can't remember the name of our fortress right now but um, all the same we are back and um, I have left the game idle for a couple of days um, and Dwarf Fortress obviously don't like that because the game crashed like two three minutes into the last recording so I had to do it all over again from the start and fortunately that wasn't too much of a hassle I've done um, redone uh, rather uh, what I did in the previous episode uh, with some minor minor changes maybe um, when I set up the two bridges I I'm not sure if I did any settings on them, but this this bridge is tipping to the east, uh, and this bridge is unfortunately because we were coming from this direction, tipping to the north, and of course we don't want that. So this bridge has to be rebuilt pretty soon because I wanted to tip to the south so that we can set up walls and stuff on this side or rather not walls uh, carved out fortifications so we can kill people in this area and um, furthermore I have been doing some thinking and um, uh, the thinking uh, has been about where should people be able to enter to enter our fortress and how shall we kill things and how shall we kill things well we shall shall kill things in this area by standing behind uh, fortifications and shooting crossbow bolts and make things um, die um, I also want a uh, an area for catching people in in uh, cage traps. Cage traps. Um, not sure what that thing thing that thing should go, but I do have a kind of vague plan, and I want a third entrance, and that's the entrance for the trading caravans. Um, we will likely need to put up a trading depot pretty soon to make some kind of haphazard first trade um, and that one will go in this area because this is the only entrance uh, so far I think the the kind of end game or later game entrance for trading will be like this with ramps moving down a couple of levels and a depot somewhere like this ish at one level well, somewhere between one level 30 and one level 20 one hundred and twenty or one hundred and thirty um, and we will then maybe I think put up a um, cage trap zone in this area um, with a uh, entrance that is is kind of a fake entrance really to kind of lure um, goblins or what have you uh, coming towards us get caught in traps in this area uh, there will be an entrance into the fortress but that is a, that will be kind of a token entrance just to um, lure them in and the tea is mm. <sighs> mm so nice um so i've i've redone what we did in the last episode i've dug this out um a bit 
um, I made a L turn or kind of uh, and moving up a couple of levels I've dug this out it's a bit larger I think from the previous one um, and I do have um, we do have uh, brought actually everything is brought in except the logs um, that comes from the disbanded wagon I have also set up a garbage dump I have um, made this into a meeting general meeting area and this is a uh, this is a mm, where's the cursor uh, this is a uh, stockpile for just about everything except corpses and refuse that goes aside. Stone, I don't want people to uh, get uh, loaded down with holding stones. And um, no wood is accepted in this one, but everything else. So, um, we need actually to start producing stuff, uh, and um, I'm kind of, as this is, um, I've talked about this before, but this is the base camp, this is where we will start our most um, rudimentary, is that the word, um, stuff going, so um, we are actually going to put in our first workshops and I am nervous as hell as we yeah we are recording um, so workshop it is and the first thing to go in will be a carpenter Uh, from Claystone. Actually, I would like to uh, zoom in a bit, uh, and I would like to build a more well, carpenter is done. Let the quern, millstone, doom, closure, boyers, we kind of need, but first of all we will need a mason. From claystone we will need a crafts workshop from claystone and a mechanic claystone still farmer kitchen fishery ashery dyer blah 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 let's actually put in a boyer as well Uh, and then for the second row, we will go for yeah, that's the boiler. Um, so another quern millstone loom, not a priority at the moment, but we will need. We will need. Let's actually put in a jeweler. We need to uh, give someone jewelry in case we get an early mood. Uh, and. Mm, Butchers should go outside. 
panner could actually go inside. Uh, let's put in the still. Let's put in the farmer. And the kitchen. So that should keep our guys busy for quite a while. Hmm. Some of those won't get built because we actually need to add a couple of more. So let's make this guy a gem cutter just to get this one built. Uh, what else did we put in? He can be a temporary fisher as well to get a um fishery set up or did we actually do that i'm not sure um i don't think we did actually um what else did we put in we did put in uh you can be a temporary boyer So that should set up these workshops. Mm. <sighs> mm. Things are actually getting built. That is good. Um. Hmm. And as soon as these are set up, where are we season wise? We are in early summer. What we actually need is to start producing uh, beds. We could hold off. Mason actually is not needed. But we do have a do have a stone crafter and we do actually have sheep mud stone so let's make rock mugs on repeat And that actually locks up one of our guys completely. Um, we should then set up. Oh no! Build. Um, lot. Farm plot. And um, what size do we need? Will we go for? The minimum, like, or so not the minimum, but um, a three by three. Actually, what do we have in seeds? Kitchen seeds. We need to get the dimple cups going. No. We need to get the plump helmets going, and we need to get the rock nuts going. That's uh, the priority at the moment, I think. Plump helmets and rock nuts. Let's do those first. So, 
build plot three by three three by four place and one more plot and have those set up um, there are a lot of people lazy bombing as doing nothing at the moment so the carpenter has nothing really he needs to do at the moment uh, the mason could make stuff this guy should get started the mechanics there's no really rush uh, you can make one crossbow and that's it uh, you are going to be busy with setting up stuff farmers still is set up Tanner, we actually need a mm, you are going to do do this is to get the tannery set up and you are going to be a makeshift butcher and we are going to set up a butcher's workshop uh, somewhere outside so this is the entrance coming on coming in coming out this way going down we'll be moving this way out this way Actually, this. Hmm. Let's. Uh, let's kill a couple of more trees. Hmm. And build a workshop and a butcher hmm can't build this close to the edge hmm Set up one set up and actually let's make uh, H no nope. capital H uh, Uh, name base camp. One more time, base camp. Uh, 
we do have idlers and you know what we think about that so are these done yes they are so we are in early summer but let's go this one will do plump helmets Uh, plump helmets or actually a plump helmets B fallow C plump helmets and D nothing this one will do. Let's have a look again. A, A and C. So this one is going to follow, uh, follow. B follow C follow D follow this one A quarry bushes B As in summer, a fallow, b quarry bushes, c A quarry bushes B nothing C quarry bushes D nothing A nothing B plump helmets C nothing D plump helmets so that's um, set up to doing uh, plump helmets and quarry bushes on alternate seasons because we only have one farmer at the moment mm. so how goes with the workshops you are making you made one bow very good you are a mechanic we don't need any 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 uh, rock mechanics at the really moment you are making sweet mugs you are not making anything and you are not making anything and you could actually make us four beds. I think that's all that is required at the moment. We don't need any of the plush stuff. You are sitting idle 
idle. We are waiting for someone to do this. Uh, we have a steel. And we do have a kitchen. And we need someone to... Who is idling? You should get on with the farming. Uh, you are making a butcher's shop. You could help out making this one as well. And when that is done, you should um i don't want to um overload our dwarves with hauling stone and wood but i still do need stone and wood kind of close by so let's uh, set up a small stockpile Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Q. Settings. Disable. And have this one for wood. And P. Two, three, four, five, three, four, five. Settings disable. And let's say make this one a stone stockpile. So this is for general stuff. This is a small one. It's only 15 pieces of logs. This is only 15 stone. Uh, in that way, we don't overload um, our dwarves with um, with hauling jobs, putting up big stockpiles for stones and logs, because we are not going to consume that much of either. And that put us back to zero idlers. And um, maybe, yes, maybe I want to let's actually make some. This one is for wood, this is for stone, and this stone stockpile should, of course, only cater for. Uh, for stone, no ores or anything like that, and no clay. So, the tannery is still waiting to get done. Everything else is set up. Um, kind of like to make this bridge go the other way. This one is tipping north at the moment, but I want to make it tip uh, to the south instead. And actually, I want to uh. make this into a defensive area or should we concentrate on digging down or maybe we should start um, no 
not let's not overload our dwarves with, with jobs at the moment because everybody is very busy doing things well we of course need to have the depot built capital D and uh, oh no blocked too close to the edge how annoying but it could go in like should we put it outside because uh, this is the minimum from the edge but we are doing have one square with an overlap which needs we need to move one in I actually think that is what we will need to do at the moment so let's let's have this dug out and uh, come on yeah the butcher is set up and this will soon be dug out oh. mm -hmm. stone is getting hold, wood is getting hold, everybody is busy cups are getting done maybe we should make our first quantum stockpile for just or just the mugs I'm not sure so um, dug out build depot just enough space so this is a kind of a temporary uh, depot for trading and let's actually use the woods because we do have loads of it So this area should maybe be a kind of combined sleeping uh, eating area once what actually is our two are sleeping I would like to know what this guy is doing he is on a general break so that is fine um, let's actually make a couple of you are making the beds
Uh, rock. Two nest boxes. Just to have our um, um, turkeys set up. Can only see one bed. Well, maybe the other beds are still stuck in the workshop. I'm not sure. Um, but we are doing fine at the moment. I think. I hope. Stones are getting hold. This guy is on a break. He was probably setting up this trading depot. Hmm. And I, um, in case I didn't tell you, I've up the barrel settings pretty hefty and. I think we are going to move this one up a bit more because this is going to be a food stockpile only pretty soon. So people are hauling and people are on breaks at the moment. That's why things are moving a bit slow. Um, but we are doing fine, I think, I hope. But I would love to see the farms getting started because, um, yeah, and we haven't um, named a keeper and he requires a share I think so let's nope Mason add ah Four thrones and where's the tables? Thrones, coffin doors, blah 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 blah. Tables. And we could actually make a extra mason uh, commit yes to get that one started so I think there's lo loads of dwarfs having a break or sleeping or doing other stuff but as soon as they wake up to to reality we should have the beds made should have the chairs and the tables done and we can set up a small um, small area for sleeping and dining and of course we need to get the food going pretty soon there's still nobody um, idling
And as you can see, we do have some kind of vermins going on. I think these are slugs or something that looks like bats. I think it's the same symbol for bats and slugs. Worm it is. Ah, how goes? One bed still needs to be done. This one isn't started. You are making mugs and nest boxes, hopefully, no mechanics. Um, uh, what is our hunter guy doing? He is still logging stuff. Store item in stockpile. Yeah, that's all the stone and, and the wood being uh, hauled in. So the stone pile is soon filled. And the wood is most probably getting hauled in as well. Oh... But I would love to see the farms uh, getting started. And actually we could um, relieve uh, this dude from hauling stuff to see to getting that done. Commit. Boom. I'm pretty unsure about how the game um, use priorities between different kinds of jobs. Um, so it might be that actually a lot of these worms around. I hope nobody has a disliking of those because they will get bad thoughts from that. So, most of the stones is now hauled, and people should get on with doing other stuff. Uh, still, still one bed to be made. What is this guy doing? Read? Yeah, he is doing bloody nothing. You, on the other hand, yeah, you have started planting. Good. Good. The farm plots are starting to get set up. And still no idlers. It's actually two guys doing the planting. Why is that? Um, farming. You are planting plump helmet seeds. But you are on a break, the game tells me. Okay, so you are on a break and you are kind of just walking around. Doing nothing at the moment.
I would much prefer if you decided to do that last bed. And the stone. I actually don't want you to make any hauling either. We are in midsummer and we only have like four mugs being crafted. Um, that would not bring us any. Oh, um, this is always forget for me. And uh, you, of course, need to be on the highest precision. So stuff is getting planted, and you are doing mugs. Uh, and hopefully the nest boxes. I would like to do some more digging, but um, I also want things to come on, do the last bed. Monks and nest boxes. Two thrones have been made. Well, as long as everybody is busy, we are doing fine. Um, and we are now at the stage where you are uh, lacking dwarfs. You are desperate to get more um, migrants coming in. And um, it's usual that kind of shifts quickly when you get too many dwarves. And you don't have enough beds and not enough food and not enough drink. But um, let's worry about where we are at the moment and... Um, make uh, do what we can at the moment so everybody is there's a couple of guys on the break hmm We are still waiting for that last bed, and then we can set up a dormitory down in this corner, and we will set up a um, dining kind of area down this way. And then, actually, I think we will get our miners doing some more digging, I think. Yes, and our first migrant wave has actually arrived. And let's see if the, this is a big one or a small one. Um, it would be nice if we got some uh, skilled guys, and it would be nice if this wave was kind of big, but not too big. I would like to double double it. Seven would be perfect. 
uh, because then we could cater for food and drink and don't uh, be overstretched so let's see what we actually get I can't really see where they are arriving from uh, units snake this is a new arrival where are you I well, let's have them trickle in. Yeah, here they come. One, two, three, four, maybe. Uh, that should maybe be all of them. Let's see. I think we only got three or four. Um. Drum rolls for migration wave. Red dwarfs. Three. Uh, uh, we got a boyer. It's kind of useless, but he is a very good lie maker. It's like level 10. I've never seen that before. And he is also a nice at this level um, leather worker. We got someone who is actually not good at anything when it comes to. He is a peasant. What is he? He is a observer, dodger, armor user, and a archer. Archer and a marks dwarf and uh, a liar. <laughs> um, and we got got this guy who is a bone carver. That is not really that helpful and a fisher guy. He was going to bring in some food so do they have any military skill this guy most probably have yes he does um, attributes blah blah they are quite strong uh, and so chill hmm These are pretty high values in everything. This guy will most probably like to claim the mayor's work, um, to be a mayor once that comes available, I think. Um, I will cut this episode uh, because I think we are running well overdue in time. So I will catch you in the next one. I will s have a quick look at these guys and decide at what work they are fit to do at the moment. So catch you in the next episode um, of Dwarf Fortress with Salamander and um, well, bye bye